Well, hi. He <coughs> Here I am again with um this is like my first uh video on reviewing one of my uh uh birthday presents for today because today's my birthday. One of the uh one of the <coughs> one of the biggest things that I ever received as a birthday present is this familiar soft drink that we've grown to love since uh, 1886, I think it was. Coca-Cola, the original and the classic. <sighs> yeah, the original and American classic of America. And, um, <clears throat> and just to let you know, I remembered when I was a kid, back in the 90s, I used to love Pepsi. I, uh, <coughs> I think I, I think once in a while I would drink, uh, regular Pepsi and Diet Pepsi at the same time. Back in those days, I've drank Diet, I drank, and I drank a lot of Diet Pepsi, I remembered that. And back in those days, I remembered Pepsi tasted uh, tasted sweet, too sweet. And, you know, I, I mean, I thought it was good, you know, but I liked more of Diet Pepsi flavor. Uh, that's because at the time that they had of what they called Nutri-Sweet. Nowadays, nowadays, <laughs> yeah, nowadays... Uh, not too many, uh, like, restaurants or whatever do Pepsi Nutri-Sweet nowadays in both regular and diet. Um, and, but nowadays, when you go to the stores, you can find Pepsi Nutri-Sweet, if you're lucky to find it. And I just don't know why. I mean, well, I did find out that there were, there were, like, I don't know, health inspector critics or or health critics, whatever, saying the Nutri-Sweet has, it really has sugar and blah, blah, blah. Trick, Pepsi has, has tricked you to try this new, to try this product that they invented since the late 70s, and even when they had the Pepsi challenge. Um, you know, I think that's what they said. And nowadays, Pepsi is trying to get away from the Nutri-Sweet formula which I think is wrong. Well, yeah, which I think is wrong. And those health critics that made that possible right there, that isn't fair. I mean, why, why the hell, why the hell did these health inspectors have to, I mean, health critics have to say NutriSweet has a lot of sugar and, you know, on both its regular and Diet Pepsi products. Why did they have to do that? I mean, I mean, what you health critics had done right there was wrong. Now you're having Pepsi to go ahead without fading out of the NutraSweet products that they had on both regular and diet. I mean, I grew up with that taste, and now you have to criticize. Now you have to criticize Pepsi by saying the NutraSweet has too many sugar. Why did you have to do that? You know, I wish you hadn't done that because that hurts. It really does. And nowadays I miss, nowadays I miss the NutraSweet taste of Pepsi, and uh, e even for Diet Pepsi. And I've, I don't know, I bottled out of Diet Pepsi, or I grew out of Diet Pepsi because, because uh, the NutraSweet formula for the diet taste, and even for the regular, is fading out, and. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be gone soon, but if if it if it is if it will be, I'm going to miss it so much. I mean, thanks to these health critics that have to say the NutriSweet has too many sugar. I mean, shame on you, health critics, by saying the NutriSweet taste is no good and saying it has too many sugar. Shame on you, health critics.
because when I was little, I loved the Nutrisweet of both regular and Diet Pepsi products. And then you have to come in and in some point in the 2000s, mid-2000s, I think, you had to come in and say, Pepsi's doing too much sugar on its Nutrisweet products. Uh, how dare you do, how dare you said that against Pepsi? Yeah, how dare you, how dare you did, you did that to some of us Pepsi drinkers and Pepsi fans, you know? Shame on you. Shame on you, health critics. The NutraSweet products, leave it, <clears throat> the NutraSweet products, even though it's fading away, but I'm one of them saying to Pepsi, bring back the NutraSweet products. If they do that, and if the NutraSweet comes back in a way, all of you health critics, leave them alone. Yeah, just leave them alone. We, we just want the sweeter taste or the NutraSweet formula of Pepsi, both regular and diet. And if you complain about it to Pepsi and to some of us, um, get off our backs. We don't want to listen to your crap. Shame on you. So anyway, as I was saying, you know, since Pepsi's trying to get away from the NutraSweet uh, products and there's only a little bit out there, you know, <clears throat> nowadays, and, and I remember trying Coca-Cola and Diet Coke. Um, Diet Coke was my first favorite or my first love, something like that, you know. And then once I gave this a try, the original classic Coca-Cola, I love it. I really do, because it's, it's an American classic. It's an American original since 1886. And, um, you know, I, you know it's, it's just the, it's not regular, it's not regular Coke. It's not regular Coca-Cola, whatever. It's not regular Coke. It's classic Coca-Cola. So <clears throat> follow my words or follow my advice. This, this is not regular Coke. This is classic Coca-Cola. So let's all say this is classic Coca-Cola. And I love it. I really do. I like Coca-Cola more than Pepsi nowadays. And I still like Diet Coke. Yeah. So anyway, Coca-Cola is one of my biggest birthday presents that I ever received. And, um, and of course, I heard <laughs> from the mid-80s, I think, they tried to replace the original classic formula of Coca-Cola. They tried to replace it with a new product they called New Coke. And my dad told me when he tried the new Coke, he told me that it tasted like Pepsi. It tasted like the NutraSweet formula of Pepsi. That's what he told me. And um, and I think I tried it once. And I, th yeah, I tried it once. I think when I was, at some point in the late '90s, I tried it. And I and I agreed. <laughs> New Coke tasted like uh, the NutraSweet formula of Pepsi. And uh, nowadays, I miss New Coke. I really do. Although, at the same time, I do feel sorry for some of you out there that got in a big panic and worried that Coca-Cola Classic was going to be replaced by a new formula of Coke, you know? I really feel, I really feel sorry for you who remembered that from the mid-80s, you know? It happened like three months, and you know, and then they brought back the original formula as Coca-Cola Classic at the time. And nowadays, uh, like I said, I rather call the original uh, or regular Coke as classic Coca-Cola, not not as regular Coke, as classic Coca-Cola. That's what I like to call it. I don't like to call it regular Coke. I like to call it classic Coca-Cola still to this day.
and um, very proud that, um, you know, very proud that I'm into Coca-Cola now. And this is one of my biggest birthday presents I ever received. And put, uh, put some comments below and tell me, tell me about your thoughts, uh, your love and appreciation of Coca-Cola itself. Tell me about it. And put some comments below saying about the new Coke. Uh, I want to hear some comments from you guys of what you remember about the new Coke. I really do because that's a lot of, <laughs> that's more fascinating to me and so forth, you know, as part of Coca-Cola history. Even though it was a mistake. I really want to hear those comments about new Coke from you guys as you remember from the 80s and 90s. So, this is Daniel signing off.